to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official trailer for How It Ends. It's another one of those, basically the premise is another one of those, we all know, the, it's like the third or fourth one scene where it's like, the world is ending, what are people doing kind of film. So in this case, the world is ending, so this girl, this, this, trying to get to this a, woman is trying to get to the last party of her life in LA. In LA. Yeah. That's it. It's weird, because this is like not the first time this has been done, where it's like, we know that the world's happy. How are people reacting to it kind of film? It's in a way, it's, it, it's, like, show, it's huh? like what I, I always say, you know, you make copy and paste, but how do you present it? How, how is this going to be a little bit different? You know, is you know how is the story going to stand out? What's going to really take your attention to where you're like, this will make it, you know, a good film or something like that, you know, compared to another one is trying to do the same thing. You know, that's, that's all it is. Um, um, sometimes it could just be, you know, more more or less of like who they are as a person or anything like that, or just why do I need to get to this party or why do I need to get to this location or anything like that. So that's all it is. Um, but let's take a look at this uh, for the official trailer for how it ends. Not the Netflix one, because there is a Netflix one we did. Just yeah, that's why my point exactly. Yeah, because because I know that one was more of a just trying to find his fiance. He's teaming up with the father-in-law type of situation. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, but let's just dive into this uh, again for the official trailer for How It Ends. So here we go. Happy last day. Try to remember me like this. No, no. <laughs> that, that's not how you'll die. No, no, no. You'll wait to explode like the rest of us. Yeah. Like the rest Three of us. That's pretty hit. God, this is Bobby Lee. Oh, do you actually believe the news? The meteor is fake. Oh, this is a great cast. Terrified of dying alone, and tonight I'm literally dying alone. But you're not alone. You have me. You don't count. You're metaphysical. Let's talk regrets. The biggest one is that. I'm gonna drive the ocean, swim naked. Of course. Okay. No, I'm good. And next up, I would like to make amends with all that. Hey. I have developed psychically to the place where I am capable of extraordinary things. Yeah, I'm Reiki one certified. Yeah. Hey, Larry. Hey, Liza. You gonna tell me you love hey. me? Hey, yes. There's nothing coming out of those speakers. I found it on the street, but I thought it was a cool visual. Oh, okay. I think it's it's broken. Okay. My whole life has just been a series of regret after regret after regret. Damn, like all star cast. That's the full of all star cast. I grab it. Let's call it a bag. It's like Tom Hanks said in Castaway, life's a box of chocolate, so you die alone. Existential scavenger yeah. your soul. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I dig that. It's everything it explodes. Wow, man. Talking about like a. I didn't really leave the cast list because I, I, I read I read the premise. I'm like, okay, sure. I mean, I read it. No, I read it. And they said, oh, it's a, it has a you know all star cast. I'm like, well, we'll see how big all star. They were kidding. They literally have almost everybody you can think of in this day. Every popular funny name. You funny know. name that you can think of. That's why I, the last thing that came up was Colin Hanks. I'm like, hey, Colin Hanks. And I'm like, and also of course, who's the next person to show up? Colin Hanks. You know. So it looks like it looks like before it's like before they go to the party, she's trying to make amends to a lot of friends family but also like realizing that. at the same time that she had a lot of regrets in her life yeah that, you know real, this realizing all that you know but at the same time where she is like she's realizing this as she's talking to each person going wow okay and so far none of, from what I've heard none of the other films that, or shows that are like this have a cop out they all it is the end of the world yeah it is and there is no big twist where it's like oh it's not the end no it's and I like it too it's like everybody explodes it's like it's like everyone's gonna explode on this day you know so it's it's very interesting I can't see who she where the actress is from cause she when I originally saw this I'm like why does she look that's why I said I'm like she looks familiar it's like it's at the tip of my tongue I know what it is where is she from we've seen her before um we've seen her in other stuff but I love, I love radio the you know there's no no sound coming out of the speakers yeah, I'm just trying to make it more of a visual type of inter interpretation uh, she was in Life in Pieces she was in New, New Girl, Girl. Okay. that's Fawn Musk 
That's probably where we saw her in was a uh, new girl. I know I've seen her in other stuff. She was also in Life in Pieces, Open, New Girl, Band Aid. Like I said, a lot of. Free- it probably it's probably cut from. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to see. Uh, da, da, da. I'm trying to. I guess I've seen it. Ah, Whitney! I recognized her. She's from, she's from she's in Whitney. Yeah, I probably recognize her more from New Girl. So yeah, New Girl. From and Whitney Cummings is in this. Too. Yeah, she is in it. So she pops up at some point. Cause she's on. She was on the list. So, um, but yeah, it looks like a charming. This is a for in a world watching for in a world film. It does have a lot of charm to it. Yeah, it's a, it, 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 this is definitely something I would about watching because it's like it feels like it's like they each get like a certain scene or something like that for a lot of these. It's not like they're all spread out through, throughout the whole film. No, it's like she's just different people she's visiting and it's like these, these, these people that we know of that are like funny people in a way, you know? So, yeah, other than that, if we're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like it's just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about end of the world kind of film subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well let us know what you guys thought of this film and it's all sarcast uh for for this story this is something that you definitely want to want by checking out just to see what the hell goes on with each character with each actor and stuff like that what goes down uh and and wonder if everyone will explode at that point or it's just going to be that blinding light knowing it's over and that's it like we got with that one Steve Carell film with the end of the world type of situation. Yeah. It was just a bright light. To be fair, the best part of that film was when went, they went to uh, not Applebee's. Yeah, not Applebee's. Yeah, that was a funny one. But, I mean, do you guys have any favorite end of the world type of like crazy stuff like this? Or, you know, like they're trying to do a party or there's a party or anything like that. Do you guys have any favorites that stand out? Um, no, for you personally, uh, and uh, or is this one of them that, that you maybe this may be one of your favorites? I mean, depends. I mean, let us know in the comments down below. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall, but most importantly, thank you for watching. So, until next time, I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher, and this has been a very how it should have ended Phil episode of SRB. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as one of our other SRB shows, check out one of the playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and start us at Super React Bros. As well as on Facebook at Super Reaction Bros.